Hi, and welcome to Puzzle Pieces. In this episode, I'd like to talk about something I've seen used a couple of times in different Escape the Room style books and games, and I call it crisscross text. So this is where you have some words which are written horizontally, and some other words are written vertically, and they're overlaid on top of each other and kind of stretched out so that you have to look at them from a certain angle to be able to understand what they say. So for my last text perspective puzzle I used uh, Inkscape. This time I'm using PowerPoint, which I just guess is another program most people have access to. So I'm just going to create a new slide and delete the template there. I'm going to go to the Insert menu and insert a text box over here. And let's click somewhere on the page. Uh, choose the font that I want to use, so I'll use uh, Franklin. And I'll just make it a bit larger so that you can actually see what I'm typing. Um, we'll resize the font in a minute anyway. Uh, this is vertical text. There we go. So now I'm just going to click to select that text box. And this is the important bit. I'm going to go to the format menu here where it says text effects, transform. And then at the bottom where it says warp, this top left one that says square. Click that. And now this will allow me to drag the handles at the corner of the text box and it will resize the text. So I'll make that a square just by lining that up with the grid like that. And there's my vertical text. So now I'm going to go uh, repeat the process. So back to the insert menu, another text box, click down here. And this time uh, this is horizontal text. Again, click off it once and then just select the text box like that. Uh, come back to the format menu again, text effects, transform and warp with the top left square one. And this time I'm just going to rotate it round so that it is indeed read um, from horizontally. There we go. And then I'm just going to drag the handle so it fills the same square as the other text and it's overlaid perfectly on top like that. And there we go.